welcome to ACS, The Amanda Craig Show. Today is Monday, October 27, 2014. We're going to talk about Ronald Reagan's addressing of the Shuttle Challenger tragedy. After that, we will go to Philip Phillips for the seven-day forecast. But before that, uh, we are inviting Kaylee Shore, a witness of Ronald Reagan's heart-stopping speech. Kaylee, come on out. Hello, thank you for having me. Now let's get started. Of course, here we go. For our viewers that don't know, what was the disaster of Challenger 7? Well, that was a space shuttle that blew 73 seconds in flight. Seven astronauts lost their lives, one being a teacher. She would have been the first teacher in outer space. That's correct. Today we are here to talk about January 28, 1986, a day we will never forget. In the Oval Office, Ronald Reagan addressed the disaster of Challenger 7. Yes, that was a day of mourning. The whole nation was awestruck. Ronald Reagan spoke that afternoon. He addressed the nation. Yes, I watched that speech. It was, very it was very emotional and well put together. Ronald Reagan kept himself together throughout the speech, even though it was quite a depressing day. I think that was amazing how Reagan did that. Ronald also did good at getting the message across. I really like that. I, I also thought it was the delivery of his speech was important. If he was crying or trying to make his speech funny, people would not think it was serious. This is why his rhetoric strategies worked. But he also showed emotion to connect with the audience. It showed that he cared and that he, and that he had respect toward the shuttle, the crew in the shuttle. He didn't fall apart. He stayed strong. And that was exceptional. He spoke with pauses, like when he said, "But the events of today caused me to change those plans." Yes, and the pauses gave us time to think. I'm sure that people need that. It was a very emotional time. This speech had to be appropriate for any audience to view. That's what this is exactly what he delivered. Uh, yeah, that's ama that was an amazing speech. Now let's watch it. You tonight report on the State of the Union. But the events of earlier today have led me to change those plans. Today is a day for mourning and remembering. Nancy and I are pained to the core by the tragedy of the shuttle Challenger. We know we share this pain with all of the people of our country. This is truly a national loss. Nineteen years ago, almost to the day, we lost three astronauts in a terrible accident on the ground. But we've never lost an astronaut in flight. We've never had a tragedy like this. And perhaps we've forgotten the courage it took for the crew of the shuttle. But they, the Challenger 7, were aware of the dangers, but overcame them and did their jobs brilliantly. We mourn seven heroes. Michael Smith, Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista Mikulov. We mourn their loss as a nation together. The families of the seven, we cannot bear as you do the full impact of this tragedy. But we feel the loss, and we're thinking about you so very much. Your loved ones were daring and brave, and they had that special grace, that special spirit that says, give me a challenge and I'll meet it with joy. Well, today, we can say of the Challenger crew, their dedication was, like Drake's, complete. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger honored us for the manner in which they lived their lives. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them, this morning, as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye, and slipped the surly bonds of Earth to touch the face of God. Thank you. And now for Philip Phillips with the seven day forecast. Hello everybody. Today it is rainy and 42 degrees. Tom tomorrow will be a high of 45 degrees and a low of 38 degrees. Wait, also rainy. 